how's everyone doing? My name is BB and welcome back to the Dream Machine. Man, the last time was something, right? That was a thing that happened. And, uh, you know what? Uh, I think I know what to do to get my neighbors to not call the police. I have to make them fall asleep. I can make them fall asleep if I use the, the 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 machine in the basement on them with the remote remote control, right? Last time it filled Alicia's room with some sort of gas. Let's see. I don't have anything for that device yet. Uh, okay, let's see. So where do we go first, huh? Oh dear. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Camera monitor someone's living room. It might belong to someone on the third floor. Okay, can I just... Somewhere where there are actual people. No, not him. What is that? Is that a person? Seems to be a person. Is that a wheelchair? What is this? What is this? What, what is it? This slanted window suggests that this room is on the top floor. There's a guy in a wheelchair looking through a telescope. Okay. Guess him. Nothing happened. What? Oh. Uh. Uh. What, what do I do? I don't know how to do this. Camera overlooks someone's dining room. If I'm not mistaken, this is our next door neighbor's bridge party. Well, gas them then. Nothing happened. How do I do this? How do I do this? What is that? What is this? That's our- oh! It's our bedroom. Mr. Warren watched us when we slept. I feel uncomfortable. I don't know how to make these people fall asleep. How do I- nothing happened. I don't know what to do. How do I make them- how do I make them fall asleep? Okay. Just a moment, dear. I'll be right with you. Okay, then. I'll just wait right here. Okay, hi. Well, hello, Mr. Neff. I'm sorry to disturb you again, Edie. Oh, don't worry, young man. One of my guests has just abandoned me, so we had to put the bridge game on hold. What can I do you for? Uh, do for you, I think. There's something important we need to talk about. Oh? I can see that you're upset. Why don't you come in, dear? Let's discuss it over a cup of Lady Grey. Lady Grey? That always soothes the nerves. Oh, well that's okay too, I guess. That'll do just fine. Great. I need to make Edie fall asleep somehow. But how do I do that? I can't just knock her out. Well, why not? This is her life we're talking about here. Better she's knocked out than dead or whatever. Trapped in a dream. It's a photograph of family estate with a lush garden. Okay, good. The stand contains two weather worn umbrellas. Well, interesting, isn't it? Go to the bathroom. A toilet. Can I flush it? I can. Okay, wonderful. Turn on the water. Examine skin lotion. Why can I do that? The label says night and day cream. What? The bathrobe has been washed recently. Well, good for you. More skin cream. It's just some kind of skin cream. Well, it's a bottle of shampoo. Examine a photo in the, in the bathroom. A child is playing under an old tree. Examine the bucket. Ooh, do I want to? It's just a plastic bucket. Examine washing machine. It's an empty washing machine. I feel more tired than I look. 
Well, that was it. Go away. Go away. Okay, I can click up there. Well, that was very eventful. Uh, what is that? A kitchen, a telephone. Another photo. It's a photograph of Edie standing in a field of sunflowers. She looks oddly tranquil. Okay, it's a photograph of an elderly man sitting on a porch. Okay, then. Great. Oh, there was a chest there. Oh, I'm just putting the kettle on there. It'll take a while to boil, but we can talk in the meantime. Um, hold on now. There are more photos here. It's a photograph of a young Edie standing by a set of stairs. It's a, por a portrait photograph of a child. The photograph seems more recent than the others. And this one, it's a photograph of a young man leaning against a rail. Let's look inside the fridge. Edie won't appreciate, appreciate me rummaging through her kitchen. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Uh, ah, examine the chest. I saw that chest. The old chest has the year 1837 painted on it. It's full of bedding. What? Well, I thought that was going to be more exciting. Um, what would she have? Anything. Examine the teapot. The pot is, has a tea filled strainer under the lid. Uh, does she not have sleeping pills? Anyone appreciate me rummaging through her stuff? Okay, but for real though, the most probably most modern thing in this kitchen. Examine the spice shelf. The shelf contains various spices. Nothing too exotic. Uh, I guess not. Does she not have like sleeping pills in her bathroom? Where's her bedroom? Yeah, yeah, let's go there. I need something to knock her out. Um. Let's see, a pile of old detective novels. Turn on the lamp. Well, what is that good for? Another photo. It's a portrait photograph of an old man. Examine the window. The window in Edith's bedroom is overlooking a quaint yard. It belongs to the neighboring estate. Well, great. How, how on earth will I not... Oh, more photos. Jeez. That woman loves photos. A family of four is smiling towards the camera. And this one's a photograph of a lush garden with a big tree in the middle. Good for you. I don't know. I thought maybe she would have sleeping pills. Examine the books. These books were all fiction. And they look like photo albums. That does not surprise me. She seems to enjoy murder mysteries. Does she now? Hmm, maybe she'll just help me without me having to knock her out. Let's see. Let's go to the living room. What is that? Pick up pot. I want to pick up the pot. Mr. Neff, allow me to introduce Peggy Discroll to my left. Okay. Charmed, I'm sure. And the Bucky Bradshaw to my right. Hello, Mr. Neff. They're two of my most trusted friends. Anything you can say to me, you can say to them. Why don't you take a seat and tell us what's been bothering you? Uh, more photos. Let's go. Some people are hanging out by an old car. It's a young boy in a school uniform. Don't even get me started. And what about, about this one? It's just a phase. Two girls are sitting on a porch. The things they wear today, okay? It's a painting of a lighthouse during rough weather. That's not what I said, what it said on the label. Okay, what on earth are you people talking about? Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, let's examine the books. I'd rather work today than panic. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, people. I don't recognize any of these titles. Some books on gardening. You blame the French? What are you talking about, woman? Some back issues of Reader's Digest. Spicy food doesn't agree with you. Okay, then, well... The weather service isn't what it used to be. What are you talking about? Can I pick up the pot in the kitchen? I mean, I mean, I don't know why I would do that. Without learning the other two. What? Oh, I have a pot. Dish detergent. Why? It's a bowl of scented dish detergent. Well, that is interesting. Well, what am I doing? I'd rather not put not pour hot water over me 
not over you in the teapot. What's wrong with you? I poured hot water into the teapot. Okay. Excuse me, you're a little bit in the way. Examine the teapot. There's tea brewing in the pot. I need to somehow get my hands on sleeping pills. It's pretty grimy. Okay, let's talk to them. But at least it seems to be working. I don't care. I need to get them to sleep somehow. Okay, sit in chair. Let's have a chat then. So, Mr. Neff, tell us what's on your mind. Oh, sweet lord. The landlord is surveying every apartment in the state. Mr. Wharton was using the tenant to tap into the collective unconsciousness. Maybe not that. Hmm. Our landlord just died in the basement. I need to put you to sleep and enter your dreams. I could use a hot cup of tea right about now. Um, the landlord is surveying every apartment in the state in the state surveying there's hidden cameras in every apartment that's astonishing i can show you the room with the monitors if you want proof no need dear boy i believe you it just reminds me of an event i experienced I experienced back in the 50s i was unloading a survey cart when all of a sudden i heard gunshots going off around me preferring safe to sorry i ducked behind a nearby dumpster as I hunkered down, thinking my last moment had come, I noticed that the gunfire had stopped as quickly as it had started. Turns out, I had just over-inflated the tires a bit. The heat had made them pop. I never made that mistake again, let me tell you. Well, what does that have to do with anything? When I was a young boy... Excuse me. Sorry, dear. I guess we trolled off a bit there. Yes. <laughs> Stop talking. Now, what is it you wanted to tell us? Oh no. Uh well, I need to put you to sleep. Is that a form of rhyming slang? You youngsters are so creative. What is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. I want to see you flounder and hear your screams. Why would he say a thing like that? I don't know. It was all I could come up with on short notice. Electronic devices aren't supposed to work in dreams. What are you talking about? Sorry, dear. I guess you trailed off a bit there. Now what were you wanting to tell us? What are you talking about? Mr. Martin is dead in the basement. He died? You mean he's drunk on a job? In my day, we called it corpsing. No, he's not drunk. He actually died. Good riddance. They never last today. What is wrong with you people? You're all crazy. All of you. Just crazy. Mm, no. I had a landlord die in me once. He was old and I wasn't actually around when he kicked it. But apparently he shot himself in the middle of the yard. He used a fine caliber bird shot. So it took him a week to die from the injury. It took him a week. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Stop. They had the guard... To guard him in shifts to keep him from pulling the IV out of his arm. That's horrible. The human body upsets me. You people upset me. Excuse me. Sorry there, I guess we chilled off a bit. What? No. Oh, oh no. Mr. Morton was using the tenants to trap, tap into the collective consciousness. Tapping the collective. The collective unconsciousness woman. Is that slang for overcharging on rent? No! No, it's not slang for anything. It's like I said it was. Literally. Because I've been suspecting that for years. There's no good reason it should be so high in this part of town. And he hasn't lifted a finger to fix anything as long as I can remember. The stairwell is a safety hazard. And the elevator only works if you grease it up every once in a while. What if he had a fire? What? I've never been in a gunfight. No! Stop! Sorry, dear. I guess you trilled off a bit. Okay, get the tea. Yes, but I can't hear the water boiling yet. I took the liberty of preparing it for us. In that case, I better go get it before it goes cold. Oh, my God. What? What are the... Oh, my God. Oh, no. We're at their mercy? What? Where's the tea woman? Oh, that's it. I never trust. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry, dear. I guess we trilled off a bit. Now, what were you wanting to tell me? 
I'm afraid the tea is getting cold. Wait, what? Yes, you mustn't let the tea get cold again. Good call, Victor. I've been baking for 10 days straight. Okay, you know what? Don't feel like talking. That's all right. Sometimes a cup of tea amongst friends is the best remedy. You know where to find us if you start feeling lonely again. Okay, I need something to put in the tea because these people are crazy. And they chat so much. They talk so much about bullshit. And I mean not about that. About, okay, never mind. I didn't say a thing. What am I doing? I don't know, man. Maybe we have sleeping pills in, like, the, the bathroom. I don't know. I need to get out of here. I need to get them to sleep. They're insane. And they talk a lot about stuff and things. And, ah, oh God. Okay, then. Okay, let's please go in. But where's the bathroom? Nursery. No, 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 no. I need, like, sleeping pills. Where is the bathroom here? What? How are their dishes out? <sighs> we do not have a cabinet. We don't have anything. What? Oh, man. It's empty. It's empty. Okay. Great. Empty. I need sleeping pills right now. What is this? Oh. Well. What the? Oh, that's my reflection. What is that? Raised window. It's locked from within and won't budge. Okay. Huh. Is it now? Or did I already establish that? Can I open it? Oh, it's the room. I can't. I can't do anything about that. Oh my god. What? The. Mr. Morton kept a lot of secrets from the residents. I'm sure the door hides some of them. But how do I open it? I don't know. There seems to be something written on the wall. It looks like some kind of... Well, I already knew... Wait. I knew this, but I'm stupid. Because I forgot about it. And now I actually know what these squares mean. Okay. Top right, top left, bottom right. Top right, top left, bottom right. Okay, we know what that means now, at least. Top right, top left, bottom right. Okay, let's go. We know what it means. Where, where was that? That was the basement, right? Was that the basement? I think it was the basement. Hey, let's go. Why do I have a pot? That makes no sense. Okay, never mind. Top right, top left, bottom right. Okay, let's see. I remember now. Ah, oh, why didn't I think of this before? Top right, top left, somehow. Yeah, bottom right. No, no, no. Yeah, there it is. Six one three. Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I? Okay, six one three. Six one three. Six one three. Okay. Leave again. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Six one three. Uh, uh where was that? First floor. Six one three, six one three, six one three. 
Ah, oh, the weather is so gloomy today. Ooh, I don't like it. It's so gray. It's so gray. And it's not even snow. Like, there was, like, it was, like, snowing all of last week. Like, the first real snow of the year. And then it suddenly stopped and it started raining. And now it's just gloomy. And it's too warm for snow and just too cold to be comfortable outside. It's horrible. 613. Right? Six, but, oh, no, no, no. We need to examine this again. Six right, one left, three right. S oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I know. Stop it, stop it. Okay, uh, clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and on one... And then one, two, three, clockwise. Yeah. Oh, why didn't I think of that? That was so stupid. Because as soon as I got, like, the safe code, I should have realized this was this. I forgot all about this. I forgot that this was a thing. I forgot it, it existed. Where am I now? Well, I don't think I have to pick up a book. Oh, no more books. It looks like Mr. Martin kept a notebook. <gasps> no. 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 I don't want to. Except these books are mainly on topics such as farming and gardening. Uh oh. Examine gas canister. It's a canister of compressed gas. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, not the more. Okay. I don't. I only need a pestle. Okay, pick up a spoon. What? A drop spoon. Oh, pick up pills. Yes, it's a bottle of prescribed medication. Did Mr. Martin suffer from some kind of ailment? I don't know. Examine it. It says Dormicum. Ah, that's for sleeping. That is great. Pick up a beaker. Oh, that is wonderful. I know what I have to do. I'm gonna brew myself. Examine beer bottle. I'm gonna brew myself a sleeping potion. Cheers, old fool. What? What? I drank it? Oh. Examine keypad. Oh no. More codes. Oh, I don't have a code. Examine steel door. This door has been reinforced. I bet it's protecting something important. Okay, so where's my pot? Use pot with water. It doesn't seem to work. Turn on the water. Oh, well, oh, oh dear, what's happening? Help! What is it doing? This place is really falling apart. Okay, there, so there's no water. Okay, go back to the desk. We can do, do it in Edie's room. I think, can I just, okay, put the pills in the... In here, the be I put some Birmingham pills in the beaker. Can I crush them? I'd rather use some mortar for powderizing. Well, what are you talking about? I'd rather mix these in a beaker. Mix them? Well, I'm trying to powderize. I don't know what to do. What's, am I, what am, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Am I missing something? Like, for real, though? Can I? Ah, oh, I poured the dorm gun into the mortar. Why did I need a beaker for that? Why did I have to pour it from the pill bottle into the beaker and from the beaker into the mortar? Why does not from, like, the... Straight from the pill bottle into the mortar. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Pick up Dormicum powder. Pick up. Okay. It's some crushed Dormicum powder. Okay. Can I put this in there now? I'd rather mix these in a beaker. I've put the Dormicum powder into the beaker. What is the spoon for, though? Do I need to repeat this? I pour some Dorman pills into the beaker. There's too much content in the beaker to fit into the mortar. What? 
The beaker contains Dormicum powder and the Dormicum. Well, there's nothing in the pot. Uh, help! What do I, what do I do? That would knock her out, but I don't think it would allow me to enter her dreams. That would knock her. I need to use Mr. Martin's recipe to ensure that. What recipe? Summon the teapot. The teapot's trainer. What recipe? There's a recipe? Oh no. Okay, let me just quickly go find the recipe. Oh no. Okay. Do I have. Wait, I had a book. He gave me a book. Where's the book? Mr. Morton's notebook. I forgot all. Oh no. I forgot about the book. Oh no. Petals from Optunia powderized. Blue petals from India powderized. Oh no. Okay, I see now. I see. I see what I have to do. This is one half, and where it says the sleeping and then beauty tomato. So that left part is the other half. So if I combine them, I will have the sleeping powder. Unfortunately, all of this flipping pages is 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 driving me insane and has uh, caused me to run out of time. So we'll uh, have it done next episode. We will totally make the sleeping potion, get into Edie's dream, and figure out what on earth is going on. Till then, thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this, please boop the like button in the nose. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.